of our series on what's known as the hookup culture on college campuses, sex with no attachments. The assumption should be that students are just going to be hooking up and having sex. Uh, the hookup mentality of junior high even and high school students now, which my children can tell you about, uh, from watching their friends and being frustrated by it. Well, that would be frustrating for his children, wouldn't it? Watching their friends hook up in junior high and not participating themselves. Yeah, it frustrated me. So I've never really understood what hookup culture meant. Right. I just, I just always thought it's just it's just kids doing it, right? So of course, it's the defining tequila-soaked <laughs> ritual. ritual. Of the tequila-soaked rituals, was that the defining one? Um, the orgies were big. The blood-soaked orgies were a little more popular than the tequila-soaked orgies. Right. Unfortunately, I didn't really see much of a hookup culture. It was mostly just young people doing it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the culture, like the, yeah. there's a culture part that, that trips me up. Like what's the culture around it exactly? Like breaking news, young people fucking. Like they're not doing it in a, in a big, great, like they're not doing it in the cafeteria. What you been up together. to lately? Just checking out the hookup culture. <laughs> yeah. So if you buy it, it's the idea that nobody dates anymore. Uh, there's no romance. It's just, it's just oh, we're not together. We just hooked up. I could be wrong yeah. about this. I'm not. Oh. I'm not a sex expert. Okay. But I think that people have always had sex. Alex, I'm sorry. There is a hookup culture, and listen up to Barbara Kay because you pay a <laughs> price for it. Watching porn to please men and submitting to acts they dislike. Do you watch porn? Everybody watches porn. Do you watch porn to please men? How would I do that? How would I watch? Do I take like <laughs> selfies of myself with like the computer? behind me and send them to a guy I want to hook up with? Check it out. Totally watching porn. Right. The very conceit that this is a person who has like some real insight into the sexual behavior of 20 year olds is a frightening <laughs> idea. Why does she have a condom stuck to her abdomen? Sweat. I hope it's sweat. How <laughs> Well, they don't know anything about romance and courtship. That's true. Um, because of this hookup culture. Yeah, we don't know how to dance with one another in a ballroom setting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> none of the women were debuted. <laughs> a paradise of sexual opportunity. And dating is awful. Personally, I'm not huge on having sex with strangers, but I'm also not huge on sitting down at a table with a stranger wishing a friend would call so I can leave. The kernel of truth in this hookup culture thing is that dating feels like a weird, artificial, awkward thing, and people would rather meet by hanging out. What do people who write about hookup culture, what are they prescribing for young people? Find a meaningful relationship? Like, fall in love and have excellent sex with someone you love? I don't think anyone's gonna turn that down. Right. All of this stuff seemed to explode after the publication of this book. So somebody gets an idea, markets the idea really well, and... Defines what a generation of people are doing sexually. Mm. And there are a bunch of others that were somewhat more panicked. Secrets, lies, and hooking up expose. This was my favorite one. How teen sex is killing our kids. Sex is epidemic. killing your teenage kid. It's an epidemic. So they actually finally looked at the numbers. And it turns out that sexual behavior among college students has remained fairly consistent over the past 25 years. So it turned out the whole thing was sort of a media invention. And not the first one. This has sort of been happening again and again for the past, I don't know, probably back to like flappers in the 20s. Yeah. I mean, ever since kids have been doing it, yeah. adults have been worried about kids doing it. Have yeah. your kids talked to you about rainbow parties? No, what's a rainbow party? Mm, I'm sorry to, to tell you, you do need is. to know what a okay. rainbow party is. It's starting in junior high, and they're very popular now. They're oral sex parties. Oh my in God. In which each girl is given a different color lipstick, and the boys go around and receive oral sex from all the girls with a different lipstick. So then they end up with rings of lipstick around their penis. That's shocking. It's happening on the school bus. It's happening in the bathrooms. Um, I've had teenage girls who've told me that they can't even go in the bathrooms at school because people are having oral sex in there. <laughs> the girls can't get into the bathroom because of the oral sex parties. That I are... can't even pee. There's a girl blowing a guy in the No, stall. there's like eight girls with different color lipstick. It never happened. The whole thing, this is like from the 90s, was a complete media invention. And this is the point I want to make about this, okay? Shannon Fox. It's a porn name. It is. Right? Yeah. That's a porn name. Absolutely. And then you look at the uh, pictures that accompany all these articles. 
and they're like classic porno scenarios. It's old people perving out on the idea of young people having sex. I think there's something to that. I don't think we actually have a hookup culture. Well, we certainly have a pervy old geezer culture. You can find fault with anything at any time, and the tendency is always to imagine a golden era past. And it almost never was better before. Like, yeah. almost always it's gotten better even though it's still not perfect. So why not say it will get even better? Like, let's make it even better. I want to see some articles about, like, better hookups mm -hmm. for, for kids. <laughs> better hookups for kids. Your kids are having yeah. better promiscuous sex than you did. Yeah, and you know Where's that to, article? Yeah, where's the article about quelling your personal guilt for jerking off about 26-year-old? Yeah, where's... 23-year-old? <laughs> stop me. Like, just stop, say when. 22, 21. We're good. That would be the more honest article. would be, hookup culture exists, I hope. Can someone tell me where it's happening? <laughs>